Welcome aspiring filmmakers of the new Hollywood generation. My name is Orlando Delbert. This is Hollywood Unapologetic. Today I want to speak about filmmaking essentials, film distribution, digital rights as part of a split rights deal and the new Hollywood generation. If you haven't watched Filmmaking Essentials, Film Distribution Basics, Distribution Strategy, and The New Hollywood Generation, I'll have a link at the end of this episode for you to check out. Want to succeed in filmmaking? It's an honest question. I ask this because so many filmmakers I've known and met over the years don't develop a distribution strategy during the development stage of film production. When looking at your distribution options for your film, it's important to understand film rights and content licensing before signing off on any distribution deal. Not knowing or fully understanding these crucial details is probably the biggest mistake I've seen over and over again that aspiring filmmakers make with their first and even their second and third finished films. Digital rights as a whole is a very broad subject. Part of the digital rights discussion involves privacy and accessibility to the public and human rights issues. In this episode, I'm going to speak solely about digital rights in regards to you as a filmmaker and content creator as part of a split rights deal. This is more of an introduction. This is not legal advice and your attorney should get into the particulars of your specific deal. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. As part of your distribution strategy, you should plan for possible distribution opportunities being split up. I did mention this in a Film Distribution Basics Film Distribution Strategy episode. If you haven't seen it and want to know more about having a distribution strategy, go check it out after this episode. In this context, digital rights refer to relationships between copyrighted creative works such as motion pictures, music, and art in a digital format. Digital rights involves the permission and usage of these same digital works in relation to accessibility and control across computer and telecommunications networks, computers, and other electronic devices. In today's world of immediate online accessibility of films through streaming media platforms and websites such as YouTube, eBooks, and any electronic publications, video games, computer software, any intellectual property in a digital form, it all falls under digital rights. I should be clear, what we're speaking about isn't digital rights management tools or DRMs or technological protection measures or TPMs. Both of these technologies restrict the use of copyrighted materials and proprietary hardware, such as preventing you from trying to rip your favorite movie from a DVD you just rented from the kiosk outside the supermarket. What's very important for you to know at this stage, for your film to ever be considered by any distributor, they look at how to best maximize any and all possible revenue streams across multiple platforms. This becomes their one and only goal. Without question, film distributors create a coordinated strategy which begins through marketing campaigns way before your film is released. Knowing this one important detail is probably the most beneficial for all filmmakers to know early on and helps you understand why Hollywood is such big business. Running a marketing campaign, by the way, is very expensive. Part of the decision-making process for the distributor in considering your project is the associated cost with the campaign. One of the things mentioned throughout this series, Hollywood is about making money. What that truly means, you and I are of little significance to the bean counters and check signers unless we're able to produce something that can be monetized in their best interest not ours. This is certainly true in the distribution side because billions of dollars every year come directly from distribution. Many creative artisans don't fully understand or open to that line of thinking. This only hinders his or her chances of success, unfortunately, when it comes to deal making and negotiating. So many filmmakers get burned once they're looking for distribution options because they don't always fully understand what they are signing off on. These details can be somewhat confusing or even daunting for some. Believe me, I get it. By this point, you should have an experienced entertainment attorney representing your deal. An experienced entertainment attorney's job is to be your advocate. You want someone who is able to negotiate, or better said, improve a distributor's offer. Getting an entertainment attorney on board ensures you and everyone involved gets the best deal while protecting your project legally and financially. As members of the new Hollywood generation, we are all in it together. Be safe, be smart, and don't forget to be great. More on success in filmmaking, success in life, can be found in Pollyanna's tear-soaked battlefields of Hollywood, Survivor Guide Against the Cynicism and Hypocritical. I'm going to add a link at the very end to this episode, Filmmaking Essentials, Film Distribution Basics, Distribution Strategy, and the New Hollywood Generation. Go check it out. Are you ready for the challenge? <laughs>